Hello. I think you may have found a link between tangent and tangent. No, tangent as in the trigonometric ratio and tangent as in the line that touches a curve at only one point. First, let's establish what exactly tangent is. Here we have our dictionary of mathematics. Let's look for tangent. So, you can see here tangent has two definitions. The first one says a tangent line is a line that intersects a circle at one point. For example, uh, tires of a car are always tangent to the ground. A, ta a tangent line to a curve is a line that just touches the curve but it may intersect it at more than one point. The slope of the curve at any point is said to be equal to the slope of the tangent line at that point. But that's a topic covered more in calculus. The second definition is if the angle, if theta is an angle in a right triangle, then the tangent function in, trigonom in trigonometry is defined the opposite side over the adjacent side. So we're going to find a link between these two definitions. Okay, so now we're going to graph the function x squared divided by 2. Okay. So here is graph it. X okay. and here's the graph of x squared divided by two. And now let's let's take the tangent at one. And now I know what the tangent line is. I know the equation, but I won't tell you, I'll just show you the graph and we'll figure out the slope by using the tangent, by using the angle, the tangent of the angle at which the line intersects the x-axis. Okay, now here's a line tangent to the graph x squared divided by 2 at the point 1, 1 half. Okay, so here we have the graph of x squared divided by 2 and there's a tangent at the point x equals 1 y equals 1 half okay we don't know the slope of the tangent but we can find out by using the protractor here right so if we look at the protractor and we set the center <laughs> indeed here you go looking at this bottom number there sorry looking at this bottom number here and you can see that it is 45 and now we go back to our dictionary of mathematics here Okay, so here let's look at here. You see 45 degrees. And go looking at the tangent is 1. So tangent of 45 degrees. Okay, so here's what we have here tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1. So that means that the slope equals m equals 1. So we can easily verify this using calculus. Right? So we have what we have here is y equals x squared divided by 2. Right? That's that's the graph that we have up there in the blue here, right? So if we take the derivative, so we say y prime is equal to x, 
right? So the slope at any x is that value. So we chose x equals 1, right? This slope, this, this point right here. And the slope at that point, y prime of 1 is equal to 1. And now we can even find the, the, the equation of that line if we use the, the slope intercept. I don't know, it's not the slope intercept, the point slope form. Sorry. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X sub 1. And here we have Y sub 1 equals 1 half and x sub 1 equals 1 right because when we plug in uh, 1 to this one right to this function here we get 1 half so let's put that in and m as we know equals 1 so let's say y minus 1 half equals 1 times x minus 1. So the 1, you can distribute it, you get the same answer. Uh, it doesn't change anything. y minus 1 half equals x minus 1. So you add 1 half to both sides. And this one cancels out. And up with, here we go, end up with y equals x minus one half. And that is the, the equation of the tangent. I actually punched in that equation into uh, my graphing utility to get that tangent. So here we can see that the tangent of the angle formed here right let's say this is angle theta so that's angle theta so this angle the tangent of theta so I just write it here tangent theta equals the slope equals m slope of that line and we can even do it the other way right so if we look here we can see that maybe not as clearly but this this line goes over one and up one right so here we have this what we have here and then that's the right angle. So, and this is 1, and this is 1. By the way, this is not to scale. So, tangent, let's see, tangent theta equals 1, right? Because it's 1 over 1, it's just 1. So, let's say tangent the inverse of 1 equals theta and as we know that inverse of tangent of 1 is equal to theta Oops. and that means that theta equals 45 degrees or if you're in if you're higher in math you can say that this is pi over 4 radians